Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you have to deal with drug addicted demons in hell as a pharmacist for the underworld. It's Hell's Pharma. More overdosing demons, damn it. In Hell's Pharma, you play a young man who is possibly also a demon. Somehow you've gotten your degree in pharmaceutical studies in Hell, and you have to deal with demons that may or may not have problems coming to you asking for, quote, prescriptions. Apparently, you can give drug-addicted demons bad stuff and see what happens when they take it. I don't know why, but the Demon King the Six just looks like an ice cream cone wearing a crown. Marlo, the edgelord video game is canceled. The developer said that the video game is so edgy that all their team decided to kill themselves. Holy Jesus, this game got dark quick. Marlo, the edgelord, maybe come into a demo in 2939. Good morning, intern. Welcome to your first day as pharmacist in Hell's Pharma. I hope you don't screw up because your mistake could kill a demon. Oh no. I like how he goes through all this crap about how careful I need to be. And then he says, got it. What happens if you answer no? <laughs> Nothing, I don't know what I'm doing. He's still forcing me to work. Good luck. All right, uh, paging demon number one. What the hell is this? It's like a clearance Christmas tree at Walmart with a skull for a face. You have to look at this highly professional Hell's Pharma prescription here. Wait a second. These are the doctors for demons? Adrian, Charlie? Ethan? These are not demon names. What the hell are these? He's like the people I used to work with. Cough. This is, this is his illness. Serve the demon. No. Actually, you know what? Yes. You want something for a cough? We can fix that right up for you. So, this is my laboratory. Um, what is this? I'm not gonna lie. It either looks like cake icing or unicorn semen. I like how one of the ingredients is just a human skull. Cough chicken foot so what do you do pick the chicken finger how do you <gasps> well i didn't expect the finger to just rip right off this game was made with a lot of cocaine you know what how bad's your cough is it pretty bad yeah you come in here for a cough you call yourself a friggin demon you look like a sad piece of shrubbery there you know what have some of the I still don't know what this is. Can I put more than 80 milliliters? God, it comes out like soft serve ice cream. <laughs> there we go. All right, we've got you a lovely scoop of endangered species internal fluids. There we go. Now you just piss Thor off over here to mix it all up. And there you go. I feel better, but I think you put too much unnecessary stuff here. Are you serious? I was trying to kill him. I gave him like four times the amount. I even threw the gnome jello or whatever in there. All right, clearly I have to screw up even further. He he, why are you laughing? I don't know. He he. This has got to be a drug abusing, flame haired, kiss looking bull. Dr. Fanders? Oh, Fandora. They only work Saturday and Sunday. You lying son of a bitch. It's Monday. You just don't want to go to work. Limp, fever, shiver, cough. Name devourer? I got something for you to devour. Hold on. All right, this is fresh squeezed. Okay, it's thick and creamy. We fill it up all the way here. You know what? Take 160 milliliters. I got a whole backlog of this stuff. There. Yeah, I like how they get the whole glass too. They don't just get the stuff, they get the beaker as well. When you're a demon, if you can't chew glass, you're a bit. Get in there. I don't know what this is. Pull the fang. Uh, it's worse. It's not just using the skull, it's ripping the teeth out of it. What the hell do you do with the eggs? Crack the eyeball three times, then release. Crack it on what? Oh. God damn it, I've got eye goo all over the place. Now, you only want to pick the freshest eye. Son of a bitch. All right, eyes are a little bit more delicate than I had previously anticipated. There we go. Got it. Oh, this is giraffe saliva. <laughs> sure. I like how it's just like a giraffe with a gland problem salivating into a jar. What you want to do is you want to grab your two dominoes that got held back in school. And then you do this right here. There you go. And before you know it, you have a blue flame, or as I like to call it, depressed fire. All right, that should be enough random crap. That didn't help. I'm still sick. Yeah, and you're also still alive. God damn it. Scorecard F. You know it's bad when you get an F in hell. Oh, we got a new issue of the Demon Times today. 
It's the blame game. The humans are the reason why this world is about to end. They should be terminated. God, this freaking Demon King looks like Richard Nixon. I love how he's pointing the finger all judgmentally. I don't know what this is over here. It looks like an unhappy thumb, but I think it's maybe supposed to be a human looking on all sorrowful. Demon King, meet the humus in Congress. He said that the war that they're about to start should have happened years ago, but it didn't happen. You know what else didn't happen? Punctuation. He blamed every mess that happened in the world started from the humus. I don't know if this supposed to be humes or humus. At this point, it, th this could be intentional. I'm not sure. Google translates on vacation. It's been replaced with like the Dollar Tree version of Google Translate. It's like Google Translate. Demon dog saved owner from food poisoning by biting him to death. Woof, 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 said the dog. While his mouth is full of his owner's blood, he's definitely a hero, said the police. The demon world is amazing. I'm probably a hero. I've killed so many demons by giving them the wrong medicine. It's probably the other way around. In the demon world, just like how like stuff is bolted to the ceiling and everything's upside down, the F is probably an A. <laughs> we don't give medicine without a real doctor's prescription. Remember that today we do. What is this? It's it's like Nicole Kidman, only the top part of her head has been devoured by a trout or something. All right, I've learned two things. First off, Scarlet Joe Fishton over there is a lying whore. Second off, her name is Babe, apparently. That is not the right doctor. Bone fracture? What does that say? Is that toned skin? What, do you want to look more baggy? She's like, God damn it, this perfect complexion is killing me. All right, everyone needs a little bit of this flavoring. I like to use this in damn near everything. I'm going to make the right thing this time because I want to know what happens when I feed drugs to someone who's not supposed to have them. I want to be personally responsible for turning hell into a cesspool of drug abuse. Sir, I don't feel so good. I thought I gave you the right thing, but I wasn't trying very hard. Maybe next time. Shut up and give me your prescription. I like how I don't even have to try to be an asshole. Okay, boomer. <laughs> What's with this narrative? This man have eyeballs coming out of his skull? I'm not judging him. It's just kind of odd. Bruh. Holy Jesus. Allergy toothache. Chuck, what the hell? There you go, boomer. Thank you, kind sir. Yeah, whatever. Now get out there and start boosting some cars. Day two. Nope. <laughs> it's still an F. <laughs> we got a new Demon Times issue here. War begins. It probably began because everyone's coming in for like a headache and I'm treating them all for gonorrhea. As soon as the war declared, both sides began to start the attack. Demon General Heart O sir said that they will show the humans what they got. You can tell when the editor just gave up because some dude said that it's Wednesday. Ayy. I love how all the characters just look like depressed angular potatoes. Good morning, sir. We need your help. Here is the list of medicine we need for the war. Why is the one leading the war my old dog? He's like, ah, oh, gray. After a life of living with you, I went straight to hell. What happens if I give him the wrong stuff? Chicken finger, witch tooth eyeball. I just mixed a bunch of random stuff and he totally just took it. I don't feel so good. That's because you're a pulsating mass of skulls. You look like a cannibal that eats a lot of licorice as well. It took a sh- <laughs> Welcome to Hell's Pharma. I never thought I'd see the day. This calls for two helping of bubbly giraffe potion. Wow, thank you, sir. That really helps. You still look like a piece of undulating feces. So I guess whatever, whatever, man. Oh, wow, they went through a lot of trouble to draw the nipples here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and give one more bastard demon that didn't deserve their prescription, the right prescription, and then I'm going freaking ballistic. I'm gonna put like 30 times as much stuff in the next one. Every time I rip this. Oh, if you just hold on to it, it pulsates. Look, it's waving at you. It's like, hey, don't do it, you son of a bitch. Hey ho. All right, I've got two people that had the right thing already. So you're getting the concoction. After this, I gotta find out what happens when I don't serve anyone. I'm just not gonna, and no one's gonna get their prescription in hell. I'm gonna put so many teeth in here, you can make a new mouth. I'm not even cracking the eyeball, you get the whole thing. Reminds me of sparkly Elmer's glue. All right, threw like 10 pieces of everything in here. How does that do for you? That didn't help, I'm still sick. And you didn't spontaneously combust either. It's pissing me off. Day three, F. I get the feeling there's no other grades in this game. <laughs> 
Dang, the queue is long. It's a giant cobra with horns and it sounds like the guy that lives at the trailer park. No one's getting served. No. Yeah, slither your ass on out to the right. This looks familiar. Oh, septic eye. You're not getting served either. Get the hell out of here. Does this demon have 69? tattooed on his forehead. What is this, Jordy from Star Trek after like 30 years of alcoholism and meth abuse? Jordy's not getting served either. Why are you doing this to me? It's so good to listen to the pleas of demons. I like how now the demons are just stealing NASA equipment. Can I call someone else in here? Well, in turn, looks like you keep making mistakes here. I'm afraid I can't give you a pass for this test. You know this is crucial, right? What the hell, I didn't kill one demon. I just realized Coke smoking Jordy is named Billy. How much giraffe saliva does it take to kill you bastards? You know how many giraffes I had to milk for all this? Not that they mind, but you know, it's still time out of my day. One thing I love to do when I'm home alone is just paint my entire computer desk with giraffe saliva. Really brightens up the wood. I feel better. How? All I gave you was like 400 gallons of concentrated giraffe protein. What the hell? It's, it's Kermit the Frog. It's Kermit the Frog mixed with Jaws. Jesus Christ, he's so unhappy looking. What'd your car get repoed? He's like, I just found out Miss Piggy's pregnant with some other bastard's tadpoles. What happens if you don't put anything in here? You don't want to know what's in this vial. How you feeling, Kermit? That didn't help. I'm still sick. Go cry your ass back to the pond. Nine-year-old demon gets arrested for killing her imaginary friend. This is so sad. I never thought our daughter would kill her best friend like that, said her father. Her mother said that it started from jealousy of their daughter. <laughs> she said her imaginary friend stole her imaginary boyfriend. The body of the imaginary friend. <laughs> when your imaginary friend steals your imaginary boyfriend, and you have to kill her for it, that's when you know you're taking the right prescription drugs. Oh hey, the drool commander's back. Here's a list of medicine. Lieutenant Demon. Mission failed. <laughs> Looks like getting the wrong drugs for- Oh my god, the suicide rate is also up to 99% in the demon world. Please stop guys, we need you. Think about your mother. I've destroyed the entire demon realm by screwing up the prescriptions. Well, we did it. Not only did we save the entire human race apparently, but we caused the mortality rate in demons to jump way the hell up. Because when they're not killing their own imaginary thought friends, they're stabbing themselves with their own horns. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Hell's Pharma. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.